magic begins. Join me. I hear voices. Everything's not touch screen. So what do I do? I jump on it? Is that what I do? I jump on things? Yeah, you jump on it. I run. I just don't want to break anything. It's Colombo Julius and today we're back at the Alder Planetarium in Chicago. What's up guys? Remember like the video or subscribe if you haven't already so you know when we come out with new stuff. So a lot of people think there's a conspiracy that we never even landed on the moon. I don't know if I believe that or not. I gotta look into it. But, but this is the footage. Check this out. It's kind of cool. When I heard about the plan to put men in space, I thought this was my fate. Fate. Jim Lovell. Hold on. I'm gonna connect the guys. <laughs> this is cool though. Do you even know what this is, guys? Many millennials, babies. You don't even know what this is, guys. <laughs> I know what it is. I used to use a phone this morning. And now it's in a museum. So that makes me old. Roger that, Roger, Roger. It's one step for man. One step for man. Somebody bring me an old fashioned. Gotta see what's happening over there. There's something. Oh, the moon is there. But let's go see what he's doing. It's a vacuum chamber, so we can put different things in here to see how they react to basically being in space. I've got marshmallows, balloons, shaving cream, and alarm clock. What would you like to see? A marshmallow. A marshmallow? Right. She says marshmallow. I say clock, but... We we'll can test, do both. We'll test the limits later. This so, is cool. So this is taking gravity totally away? Or, uh, uh, not gravity, just not the atmosphere. The atmosphere. Yes. Oh. So for that to happen, I need you to turn that all the way to the right till it stops moving. That's going to keep any more air from going inside the, the dome. So I'm sealing it. Yes. Nice. All right. Uh, before we turn it on, any ideas what's going to happen to it? Yeah. Um, I, it's going to float. It's going to compress. Gonna... <clears throat> I like that. Compress, float. <laughs> I wish I wish it would make it float. That would be super cool. You were definitely more impressed by her answer. I do. I did see that reaction. So, okay, All I right. go with her. All right. Well, got to flip the switch. That'll turn on our vacuum pump. Okay. Are, we on to, are we on the marshmallow right now? Mm-hmm. All right. doing the opposite. Oh, oh wow. Bigger. Yeah. Any ideas why that might be happening? No. But I know a lot of men that are like that. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So, and women too. as, yeah, as we nice. take the air away from the outside of the marshmallow, the uh, air inside the marshmallow has more room to push outward, causing the entire thing to expand. Oh, 
Oh. It's a difference in air pressure. And so this is the type of air that's in space. So yeah, so we live in about 28 to like 27 to uh, 30 inches of mercury at sea level. Um, that's just our air pressure. If you go higher in the mountains, it gets lower. Um, once you get into space, inter interesting things start happening to things that have air pressure on the inside. So like that marshmallow, it expanded. Um, and now if you if you want, you can try and pull out, the lid off. I want to check out the clock. Try to pull it off. It's crazy. Oh yeah, there's nothing coming out. Of yeah. What um, is this? Yes, there is 16 pounds pushing down on every square inch of every part of this dome. Wow. So there's a couple thousand pounds pushing down on it. But you know, we, we move in this all the time. We have air inside our bodies that have equalized the air pressure. That's why your ears pop when you get into an airplane. That's your, interesting. your body has a higher air pressure than where you are in an airplane. So now if you want to see what happens to the marshmallow and to get the lid off, you gotta turn that in the other direction. Take that back. We we'll take that back. That's crazy. It's so up. if you want to feel it, it's a lot more dense. There's not nearly as much air on the inside. That's crazy. Doesn't even feel like a marshmallow. Yeah, I think it feels a little bit like chewed gum. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. See that? That's crazy. I would eat it, but no. <laughs> These ones are our science experiment marshmallows. So, that little bit of uh, information you got from the guy that shriveled a mushroom or a marshmallow, <laughs> that guy is the best tidbit of real information you're going to get from this video. Right now I'm just showing you some stuff. Look at the Milky Way. Alright. I do have a light bulb moment right now. And it is. Uh, Pick your bulb. nose. <laughs> my light bulb went out. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Are we alone? The question is: Is there another phenomenon, another life, another being? Pluto. Nine planets. Everybody learned that in school, but Pluto got dumped. How can we possibly get out of the solar system? Well, I didn't even know this. Yeah. No. When did we get Pluto out of the solar system? Science. Pluto is now an icy dwarf. Bigger than an asteroid, not quite a planet. Duh. So these local blue galaxies will eventually become, um, I've actually got two versions of this. We're looking at the skies in the future, so there's the Milky Way. The Andromeda Galaxy. To watch for important heavenly events, such as the sunlight moving across the floor of this cave in Xochicalco, Mexico. I think I blinded myself just now. There's telescopes, so hopefully we're going to find some telescopes that we can look to and see. Planets and even the stars move slowly around. They can't. I see Mars. That's bad. <laughs> oh, all right, so.
letter was written in 1315. This is for my cocktail. I don't have more clothes that probably everybody's worn. <laughs> Bed bugs. I don't feel like the, the, the darn moon. The moon is not plastic. I am in the center of the universe right now. And I feel like that. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. Remember we're at the Alder Planetarium in Chicago. Uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. Myself personally, I'm going to wait to go to space. Um, I hear they got tickets right now for 250000 You can reserve it on Virgin Galactic. So, thanks for watching. Like the video, share, and see you guys soon. Peace.